We're gonna work on the backhand side, but it's a progression of what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with lefty forehand. Do you play backhand with two hands or one hand? Two. Two. So we're gonna do single hand backhand, then double hand backhand. The reason we try to do this progression, so we can try to create a little more top spin to the ball, the shape of the rainbow. We want to be able to drop the right wrist to get a little more top spin shape, okay? We're gonna start this way and also with two hands. But in order to do that, I want to make sure the left wrist is strong enough to support and hold it. That's why we do the, the left. We're gonna start progression, service line first, and then we're gonna move back to the baseline. Let's go on the service line, come with me. Do you know why we do this exercise? Why you focus on the back end to play more with top spin? So in a rally, you have more top spin on the ball? Correct, but do you feel you, you put enough top spin to the ball? You hit a little bit too many balls to the net, that's why. When you play points or just rallying, you're going down. I'm trying to prevent not to go down to the ball. Put the track between your feet. Excellent. So I want the right arm to be high. Very nice. And I want you to play the ball to the center of the court or cross court. Okay? Lower a little bit. Lower. Yes, like that. Okay? Good. Go. I don't want you to move. Is the reason I put it over there. So. I don't want you to over move. Very good. Very good. I want you to make sure, don't, don't move. This is very good. Because I want you to be holding here the racket. I want you to strength this area now. I'll make sure this holding. I don't want to drop like this. I don't want to drop here. I want to make sure you're holding a nice circular motion. Okay? Okay. Comes like this a little bit. And then you're holding it. You're holding like this. Okay? okay? Let's try. Very good. Okay. Can you bend your knees? Yeah. Yes, you can. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Yes. And then goes up, right? You bend and goes up a little bit. Okay? Go. Very good, Alex. Very good. Excellent. You should be able to see the letters of the ball to rotate in this way. If the letters of the ball go this way, completely flat, that means not off at all. I want rotation. Go. Bend. Good. Catch your racket. Very nice. Very nice control with your racket. Very good. Do I ask you to play powerful or control? Control. Control. So I want you to go slow enough so you get a muscle memory of your shoulder and your wrist, okay? Go. Stop there. Slightly back here. Bend your knees. Bend your knees, yes, and go up. Excellent. The legs getting you power. Very good. Where are you standing? All right, bend. Go. That's all right, I'm okay with that. Stop the move. Yes. Yes. Can I hit like Rafael Nadal, right? You like Rafael Nadal? Oh my God, no, don't, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> it's okay. Catch your racket. Very nice, control. Keep your composure. Very nice. Down, down, down. Again, one more time. Again. Down. Very good, one more time. Racket slightly back. Excellent. Again, give me two in the row. Back. Is your arm tired? Yes. It's okay to be tired. Go back. Very good. So easy. Whew. Rest it. Okay. Where do you feel tired? This arm. Yeah, where exactly? Like the shoulder. The shoulder, because you're holding it, right? I explained to you beforehand. You might feel it a little bit tired. We're working this area. Now, you're going to play like Roger Federer. Do you know how he hits the backhand? Yes. All right, show me. 
Wow. Do it again. Do it again. All right, now, stay on the target. Roger Federer is good, but don't try to copy him yet, okay? You're fine, Racket back. Before we do anything else, I want you to turn your grip to your left. A little more to your left. So it's almost number eight. Got it? Yes. We try to do here to accomplish. We want to be able to drop. Hold. We want to drop here. Do you see that? Yes. We're dropping a little bit. The left is helping to go forward slightly. Yes, bend your knees. Go. Let's see. I don't want you to swing too fast. Back your racket. Here. Good. Go. That's very good. Grip to your left. Thanks. Good. Slower. Back. Very good. Wow, that was like Gasquet. <laughs> Richard Gasquet back. Let's go. Wow, that looks like Chichipas. Back your racket. Nice. Wow. That was close to Chichipas. Nice. He's dropping very good. I like that. Back. So, huh? This is important to be a little bit stronger. Stronger, okay? Not so close to you, okay? This is important because this is going to be the same as with two hand back hand, okay? Okay. Good. Grip to your left. Ready. Bend your knees, drop your wrist. Very good. Back. Yes, drop. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Go back. Go back. Check your grip. To your left. Good. Go. Very good. A lot slower. Slow. Back. Okay. So you hit the frame three times now. Can you give me a reason why? What do you think? Hit the ball here. It's not on the top. It's on the bottom. Because I'm dropping and then lifting too fast. Too fast? And your head is moving too fast. Slow down a little bit. Keep your head down. Grip. Arm. Great. Bend your knees. Very good, Alex. Go. Drop your right wrist. Very good. Drop your right. Very good. Drop your right. Do I have to remind you to go back your racket? Can you do it every time? Ready. Very good. I like the brushing part, you're doing great. Okay. Can you go slower? Good. Do I have to remind you? It's okay to remind you. I can put my tape so I keep playing, okay? Thinking. Go. I cannot start and get your racket back every time. Keep it going. Very good. Drop your wrist. Yes. Drop your right wrist more. Very good. Drop. Very nice. Okay. Now two hands. So you try to create a good rainbow shape to your shots. Go. Bend your knees. Where is your take back? Okay. Can you relax? Good. Here. Okay? Okay. Down. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Go. Okay. Okay. Very good. Bend more your knees and go up. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Very good. Bend your knees. As your racket goes down, 
as your Raikou goes down, you go up with your legs too a little bit. Okay? Back, your Raikou. Go up. Very good. Up. Again. Drop your right wrist. Very good. Back. Drop your right. Nice control. Excellent. Thank you. Very nice. Drop. Very nice. Very nice. Now, the ball should not go so close to the net. I want at least a two feet, three feet above the net. A little more margin. Although you play high above the net, I don't want your ball to go too deep either. Play around the service line. Ready. Back. Very good. Very good. More height. Give me good height. Very good. Bend those knees. Bend and go up. Very good. Take your feet where you're standing. Thank you. Down. Very good. Down. Again. Drop your racket. Drop. With your right wrist drops. The right. Back. Go again. Go. Drop. Very good. Drop. Very good. I like that. Drop. Excellent. Keep going. Drop. Very nice. One more time. Exhale. Great. Okay. After we do all these three different variations, which one was more challenging? Probably the lefty forehand. Lefty forehand. And the reason is? Because you're using your undominant hand. Yes. With one hand. And you also have to use this one. Which one is that? Your right one. Okay. To hold too. Okay. So it's mostly upper body strength, right? Yes. Do you recommend to do it a lot of balls in the row or like to do it in small repetitions? How, what do you recommend? I want your feedback on that. Small repetitions? Like what? How many numbers? Like 10. Around between 8 to 10 balls, right? So because for me, I might be able to be strong enough to do like 30, but it might, makes no sense. So communicate. If you feel like if it's too bad, the burning sensation, like, coach, I cannot do so much. Can you slow down? It's okay to go maybe 8 to lefty, 8 righty, and then go back. Get water and come back. So that was a different variation we tried to implement in order to create topspin to the shots because we noticed that when the pace becomes fast and the ball becomes type of ball high over his shoulder, it's going down. Or the ball is fast, it's going straight. It goes like this. So we try to get under to be able to rotate and to get easier clearance over the net. Usually the gravity is going to drop, but if you understand how to use the angle of your racket, the racket with the wrist right and the left, then it's easier to ask him to do certain creativity with the ball. We cannot expect the kids to do certain shots if we don't strengthen and build certain parts of the body. So now we're going to go further back on the baseline, do exactly the same thing, see how it's going to play. 